Welcome back to another video guys today we're gonna to be talking about all the mods that are still pending to do on the bike believe it or not yes there's still a ton of stuff that uh that I got planned and we're gonna be installing soon um beautiful day out here in dirty jerseys you can see blue skies clear skies high of 56 degrees right now so we've got a chilly one here in our hands we're back at the same location where I filmed that video talking about all the parts that were originally going to go on the bike when the bike was completely stock so ironically we're here back again uh talking about more parts uh what we're going to do is that we're going to do a walk around of the bike first we're going to go over everything that's done to it right now and then we'll dive into all the parts that i got planned for it uh, and some of those cool parts are coming in next week i'm super excited for those that that's going to be pretty cool um but yeah let's just do a nice little walk around first what we got in the front we got the uh clockworks bronze this is a bronze tint love this windshield right here eight inch flare sport flare windshield i'm gonna be doing uh, a video on this soon just dive deeper into it. i kind of want to dive deeper into all the parts that i have on the bike so far and then obviously what's coming later on but we got the clockworks bronze eight inch windshield we got the uh baja lp6 in the front with the s1s as the turn signal is right here love the way those things look let's just turn it on real quick show you guys i just love how <laughs> everything falls in line with all the colors of the bikes it just it, look, it looks good man it looks good uh, what do we have we got that in the front we got that in the front we got the santoro front crash bar engine guard whatever you want to call it right here these were orange before they do offer them orange and that's why I, I ordered them because I thought it was going to match this color on the pinstripe that we have going on right here. But it didn't. So we got them powder coated black. Looks nicer now. Really nice and clean. Santoro. Huge shout out to Santoro, man. They make great stuff. Great, great stuff. We got the uh, Cadillac wheels on there. That looks really cool. Down here below, we got the cross threads mini floorboards these things are awesome i haven't yet made a video just on these alone but i'm gonna be making that that might be in the next video actually but love these mini floorboards highly highly recommend them now that we're down here let's talk about the 131 we just finished installing the 131 last week and i know you must be telling yourself dude you just finished installing a 131 on your bike right now you really have more parts you're going to be putting on yeah there, there's still a lot more to come guys um so we got the 131 stage 4 kit from harley davidson screaming eagle collection this thing rips it sounds great we'll give you guys a sound check towards the end of the video uh just as you well let's do it right now why, why wait right why wait nice little idol love that chop sound beautiful <laughs> i just love that sound man i love how everything sounds on this bike so yeah the 131 uh we got the psychorama 483 cam in here i'm gonna be switching out the cam later on not right now Going a little, uh, maybe do a 512, maybe. We're going to stick with the Sakurama because I, I just love what Sakurama is doing um, in the products. Um, what do we have? The air cleaner. A lot of you guys have been asking me. This is a fueling BA air cleaner. Beautiful design. Uh, heavy breather. It looks good. It, it does the job. It does what it's supposed to. And, and it just I, I think it just looks really good with everything. We obviously ended up blacking all the tubes out right here because they come chrome from Harley from the factory. So black to me just looks much cleaner. It cleans up the whole look of the engine right here. Now this 131 kit does bring a 64 millimeter throttle body. It comes with 5.5 fuel injectors. We're going to be changing out the fuel injectors for bigger ones. Probably like 6 point one six point two i'm not sure what we're doing yet but we're going to be changing out those uh fuel injectors up on top what do we got we got these probably my all-time favorite grips from arlen s super simple but these grips have a really good feel to them they're nice and thin you know there there's some grips out there that are just real bulky and they kind of bother you they interfere with everything and it's just this is like the perfect grip for me i had them on my other low rider with the bronze caps and I had to have them again. These are all blacked out. 
they work great. Uh, PSRs, shorty levers, amazing. PSR does great, great stuff. Shout out to them. These are fully adjustable as well on both sides, um, and they feel great. Have a nice touch to the hand, to the fingers. Real easy to access, and they look great on top of that. Now, for riser setup, we got the Krause 8 inch uh, Krause setup right here. Absolutely love this thing. Fly motor bar, really good. Uh, this is a low bend bar. I might be switching it out for a mid bend later on. I'm still debating on it, but I do love the way the bike looks i like the way it feels um i like the comfort level that the whole setup gives me i'm around 5'7 i'm not too tall and this to me it has a nice pullback it puts me in a nice position when i'm really really comfortable when riding i've taken this bike from new jersey to milwaukee from new jersey to new hampshire and i had no issues no shoulder pains no nothing it's just really really real comfortable and then even with the gauge pod right here it's real easy to to see um just love the design what Krauss does Krauss, their their product guys are top notch 10 out of 10 it's like the the top in the industry i could say what else do we have we got my personalized lapara tail whip c right here absolutely love this thing we got the lapara brand on the side mk87 on the back uh that bronze goldish stitching all over the place this beautiful soft distressed leather here in brown it's just amazing i love that seat i've gotten that seat wet a ton of times guys and look it's just it still looks brand new so huge shout out to lapara as well they make great stuff i run all the power seats on all my bikes um down to the exhaust probably one of my favorite if not my favorite exhaust that i've had on on all of my bikes it has to be this one right here the sound the power it makes and it, it, it the way it looks you know it just it's an awesome cool real cool looking exhaust this exhaust is from sp concepts they make great great exhaust guys they do make a full length exhaust as well which i kind of want to look into next i don't know we might be switching it out i mean i i did mention that we are going to be switching out the exhaust later on may for 2025 i might want to try that that full length exhaust see if we could uh make more power have a different tone to it as well and just to try new things to give you guys uh information on everything on that that's what i love to do as well i love to come on this channel and one reason is to show you what you know what's on the bike but another reason is because i know a lot of you guys have questions and just to give you some ideas on what you can do in your bike stuff that i like stuff that i don't like um and, and just knowing the public knowledge knowing all the knowledge is out there knowing everything else that's out there i know there's a lot of stuff out there some stuff suck and some people tell you it might be good i'm here to tell you the truth at all times Anyways, we'll keep going from there. What do we have on here? We have a Trask cover here in the back. I don't know if you can see it. Well, it's, it's in there. Uh, towards the back, we got the Moons MC rear tail light, smoked out, low profile, looks really, really good. And then this license plate holder. Everyone's been asking me, where'd you get the license plate holder? Because it's real flush, it's real nice and clean. This is from Drag Specialties. Real nice little mod that you can do, clean up the end of your bike. It just, it looks good. Um, and then, last but not least, we have the Black Widow Creation Carbon Fiber side panels. We got this side, and then we got this side, which look amazing right there. Really, really nice and clean. And that is going to lead us to our next discussion of what are we going to be doing next on the bike. Because looking at this bike right now, going over all the things that we got on it, you must be telling yourself, well... Dude, you got a ton of shit on there. The bike looks good already. What else can you do? And believe me when I tell you, if you're into building bikes, if you're into making your bike really nice and customizing everything, the honest truth is you're never done. It, it, it is what it is. You're, you're never done. You're always either adding more stuff, switching parts out, making it different, but you're, you're, uh, you're never done. So let's start with what my next modification is going to be. And... The next one is actually coming in the mail next week. Now, we just finished talking about carbon fiber parts. Guess what? We're going to be doing more carbon fiber. Yes, more, 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 more carbon. So, next week, we got a nice delivery coming. Huge shout out to Black Widow Creations. Um, we got the front fender. The front fender carbon fiber. We got, what else we got coming? We got the tank dash coming in carbon fiber. We got the rear fender coming in carbon fiber. 
it's gonna look great and I know some of you jabronis right now some of you jabronis are gonna like oh my god you're taking stuff off your numbered bike such a special bike look you won't see that little touch anymore you won't see that enthusiast collection branding on the back anymore why would you do that it's a number bag it's a special bag yeah guess what dude i i really don't care um the plan is to get all those carbon fiber parts and then customize it a bit we're going to be adding some of this beautiful pinstriping that you see right there in that paint we're going to be adding that on those carbon fiber fenders and on the tank dash and then i'm going to try <clears throat> my, my pinstriping guy should be able to mock up this whole design so we're still going to have the same design on there it's going to look great it's going to be different it's going to look super super cool i cannot wait to see it all together so the carbon fiber parts come next week i'll do a video on that i'll show you guys how the parts look the quality of them and everything and then we'll make a video of the pin strip being done as well i think that's gonna be pretty cool for you guys to watch and then we'll do another video of the installs which is gonna be pretty cool as well so carbon fiber parts coming next week it's gonna be awesome the bike is gonna look great right after that guess what after this 131 i realized one thing i need brakes on this bike <laughs> we need to get some brakes done like asap like yesterday we needed on them so we're gonna be doing brakes i don't know what i want to do yet I want to go Lindo. I was supposed to... Well, I, you know what? I'll tell you guys. I did order Lindo brakes maybe a half a year ago. I placed the order. I didn't receive them for like four or five months. Well, they never came in. It, it was like literally like like four months went by and I, I never got anything. And it was like delayed, 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 delayed. And they're waiting for stuff. And I was like, you know what, dude? Like, I got super pissed off. I just... I, I, I canceled the order. I just got tired of waiting, right? Um took the money and i and i, I bought myself a watch <laughs> but i i i want those little breaks again um i was thinking about doing golfer i'm not sure yet so we might do golfer there's there's another option i'm looking at but we also might still do lindell so i'm not sure but breaks are gonna be uh after the carbon parts now after that guess what else we got coming we got suspension coming because we got a lot of power we got a lot of braking power what's the next upgrade should be suspension so we're going to be doing front and rear suspension um i don't want to spoil the fun for you guys yet it's from a most of you got yeah it's going to be pretty much new to most of you guys because you might not know too much of this brand you might not have heard of it because they're really big in the european market they're really big on other parts they make uh, uh suspension for cars and other companies uh, other cars and and bikes but guess what they're diving deep into the v-twin market right now and I like to try new things. I love to show you guys something different from what you have not yet seen on another channel, or another bike, on another market. So we're gonna be bringing you guys some some new content as well with that. Some brand new suspension. It is top notch. Let me tell you, it's not no, you know, no random little cheap brand. Nah, th this is top notch with like an Olin's type of thing. So let's let's leave it at that. I don't want to spoil all the fun, but suspension as well. Now we got Carby coming next week. We are in October. I plan to do the brakes in hopefully December is what I'm, I'm looking for. I'm trying to map and uh, budget, you know, make a little budget for myself to see if we could uh, do brakes for December, if not January, the latest. Um, and then suspension should be right in for February, I'm going to say, around my birthday. So the next few months, a lot of cool stuff going to be coming. Um, what else are we going to do? Oh, we're going to do the matching Santoro rear crash bars that's gonna be super cool because we gotta get rid of these passenger pegs they look horrible and yeah uh, but yeah the matching santoro rear crash bars are gonna look awesome what else after that this is gonna be a, this is something to be something that i'm not gonna do right now in the next few months it might be something for like next november but i want to go ahead and maybe before that <laughs> yeah but I, I yeah let's do it before that let's let's aim let's aim for july or august because just because um i want to do a swing arm swing arms are really really expensive so that's what i'm giving myself a lot of time i mean the next few um 
uh, products that I can be going on the bikes are really expensive. So I want to give myself, you know, at least a year to work and save up for that. So we're going to be doing a swing arm on the bike. It's going to be awesome. It's going to look great. It's going to change everything. So with the swing arm, the suspension, the braking, with all this power, the bike is going to be handling. Not that it handles bad, but it's going to, it's just going to improve on all levels on every end you can think of. It's going to be a way better bike. It's going to feel like a brand new bike with all those components. Now, some of you, you know, Harley haters who still watch the channel were like, you got to do all these things and spend all this money to make your Harley Davidson feel good and make it look good. You don't really have to do anything. This bike stock alone in the stock form is awesome. It's great. It makes a ton of power and it looks good. But guess what? We all like to make Harley Davidson's special. We all like to make them to our liking. And we all like to put our special touch on them. And that's the reason why this company is so big and why people love Harley so much. Because they're so customizable. So cool. So different. Um, what else do we have after that? Uh, da, 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 da. I don't miss one thing. I know there was one. There was something else. There was something else. The wheels. I'm, I'm so debating on powder coating the wheels. I want to do them black. But with like... Um, some flake into it so black wheels all murdered out but with flake i think it'll look sick it'll pop um it'll be different from any other <laughs> low rider s out there as he that has the bronze wheels i mean i i don't hate the bronze i really love the bronze right here but i just i just want to make the bike completely different and um simple little touch i don't want to add too you know too crazy of a color on there but i think that'll uh that'll that'll do justice that'll be fine and then lastly audio i know i've been telling you guys for a long time we're gonna add the harley davidson audio that comes with this bike we're gonna be adding that so um that i'm gonna say maybe for the springtime because winter time is basically upon us yes i'm gonna be riding i ride all year round you guys see my content but do we ride as much as we do in the spring and summer and fall time no obviously not we you know depending on snow freezing weathers and blah 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 so uh just for springtime i want to have it right ready before that so i'm gonna say like march maybe get the audio for it so it could be ready for the the season um what else oh i mean we're gonna be doing the clutch as well i was talking to mike after we tuned the bike uh so once we do the clutch we're gonna be obviously changing out the fuel injectors and a few little things here and there bring the numbers up just a little bit um kind of kind of balance it out right now we're getting 152 foot, uh, foot pounds of torque and 138 horsepower so i'm trying to bring that horsepower up, you know really really high kind of to almost match let's see if maybe we could uh get that 150 152 type of thing we'll see we'll we'll, we'll, we'll see what we do and what, what happens um but that's it. I mean, that, that's pretty much what I got on deck for now for for the rest of 2024 and 2025. So that's more than enough. A lot of uh, a lot of stuff that I'm gonna be going on the bike. And yeah, what do you guys think? Do you guys like some of these mods that are going on in it? Do you not care for them? Do you think it's overkill? Yo, it's never overkill, man. I know we sat here in the uh, uh, when I first got the bike, and I was talking about the, all the gold stuff, and I changed my mind on it, obviously, but. I'm telling you all this stuff right now. I could change my mind next month and be like, you know what? No, I'm scratched out. I'm going to do this instead. I'm constantly changing my mind and stuff. But yeah, man. Um, also, pretty cool before we go. This is a cover. This is not the amber light. The light, as you can see right there, is white. Uh, but this rock cover just pops right up. So if you have a white light and you want to, maybe you want to amber, you could just put the rock cover on it. It's really cool. You can just go inside and just change out the lens and buy the amber housing as well you don't have to buy a whole brand new light just fyi um that's gonna be it i hope you have enjoyed today's video maybe you got some cool ideas from this i cannot wait to all these brand new parts go on the bike um oh yeah well for the suspension i said rear front and rear yes front and rear that's also going to come with the external reservoir which is going to like screw onto here so you'll see the the reservoir on the side it's going to be pretty awesome bike's gonna sit taller as well 
It's going to be good. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> I'm super excited for this, man. Guys, if you're new to this channel, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you Obviously, if you want to see all these cool installs and see where the bike and the build goes on, you want to you want to be subscribed. A lot of you guys watch the channel, but you're not subscribed. So do me a favor. It, 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 it doesn't hurt, and it's free. Just like. it's Liking is free. Commenting if you want to comment. And subscribing is also free. All right? The videos come up. You watch it. If you don't want to watch it, cool, whatever. But you help the channel out. Um, we got a lot of plans for 2025. Um, we only have two weeks left in October left. November, December, the year's over, man. 2024 has been amazing. And um, 2025, I believe, will be bigger. We have a lot of stuff planned for the channel. I cannot wait to share a lot of news and travels and, and uh, updates and parts. And come along for the journey, man. Anyways. That's going to be it. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe. Enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.